hour. We start in the Gaza Strip, where the ruling Hamas terror group released photos of a gun belonging to Israeli Lieutenant Hadar Golden, one of the slain soldiers they kidnapped exactly nine years ago. The Israeli Defense Forces officer was killed during Operation Protective Edge back in 2014, and his body, along with staff sergeant Oron Shaul, have been held by the terrorist group ever since. The Palestinian Palestina Lan TV announced that footage depicting the first scenes of their kidnapping back in August 2014 would be released today, being Tuesday. The families of several Israelis, both slain and soldiers and citizens held captive in Gaza, have lobbied hard for their release and safe return to Israel. The footage was followed by a video in which the terrorist group claimed to reveal new details of the kidnapping. According to Hamas, when Golden died, they had dressed his uniform onto a dead Palestinian fighter, which was done in order to deceive IDF soldiers into thinking that they had retrieved their brother-in-arms body. And joining me now from Central Israel is Leah Golden, the mother of the late IDF soldier Hadara Golden. Firstly, Leah, thank you so very much for taking the time to be with us here on the I-24 News Desk. Hello. What are your thoughts, Leah, nine years on, in light of the video that has been released? Are you still hopeful for a possible return of your son's body? What do you mean I hope? I work hard to bring him home because the ones that sent him to Gaza nine years ago, exactly nine years ago, does not do it. They just leave him behind. So it, be, it became my job to bring my son home from the battlefield. So it's not a matter of hope when it, it, it gets to your kids, you know, especially when they are officers in the IDF. You recently joined Israeli President Isaac Herzog on his visit to the United States as part of your efforts to have your son's body returned. How has America been involved here? How does their response or assistance compare to the Vatican, where you also requested some help from the Pope? Yeah, look, uh, we've been uh, we've met the, uh, the Pope uh, two days before last Christmas, and he personally promised us to to assist in his channels, religious channels of influence, to bring our boys home. And on May, we've we've been again in Rome and met the Prime Minister of the Vatican, who told us that he got a special request from the Pope in his handwriting to assist to bring our boys home. So this gives me much much energy to know that there are someone in the world that cares, that cares about it, because I cannot find it here in Israel. You know, what we get is that this kind of manipulation by Hamas every year on August 1st, on the day of the kidnap and murder of my son, we get the same manipulation. Now, this, this I don't know what it, it means, because we still uh, wait from the officials to give us confirmation that it's it's his uh, disc ID identification disc. We don't know that. We don't know nothing about the rifle. So, as, as long as I look at this uh, event, it's a Mahamat manipulation. However, they are signaling to our to our people: enough is enough. Enough. Do what it's needed to do in order to bring our boys home. And I'm talking about Hadar, and I'm talking about Oron, about Isham and Avera. And I think that this is the right time from our, I mean, we've been to America. I, I, I've been to the Congress while our dear President Herzog gave his speech and reminded the Americans that they are responsible for the return of my son because all of this happened during a, a ceasefire, a humanitarian ceasefire brokered by the UN and the United States. At that time, Obama was the president and Biden was vi vice president. So they take it in, into their responsibility. But what we don't hear is what our people are telling, are, are doing about it. And I think that while we see all the mess, all the political mess here in Israel, I'm, I'm calling our prime minister, Bibi Netanyahu, you sent Hadar to Gaza. You are responsible to bring him back along with the own and the, and the citizens. So this is what I have today to say on this bloody day. For me, it's a bloody day, you know? I have no other words to use to, in order to describe it.
Absolutely. There's no doubt this must be such a hard and very heart-wrenching story, particularly being a mother. Last month, your daughter called out the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu as well, saying, quote, that you are guilty, Prime Minister. You're abandoning soldiers and civilians. I'd like to, if I may, ask you how your experience as a family has compared to Gilad Shalit, who was rescued by Netanyahu's efforts from Gaza, Albeit these are very different circumstances, but again, the same prime minister was involved in that rescue effort. Look, uh, what happened with Gilad Salit is history, and our problem is because we, because we are we are between the frustrated people of the Gilad Shalit uh, uh, campaign to the uh, frustrated people of or, uh, Ron Arad. A campaign. So it doesn't matter and it's just a problem to us. I mean, for me, it's what we see today and what we experience today. And what we see today is the Hamas signaling to our people because I believe they get a lot of pressure from the international community that we work hard to call them and assist. And it's about time to finish it and to show to our people, to all the mothers and fathers of all soldiers currently and in the future, that the prime minister and the, the, the government do care for their soldiers and bring them home. And this will be the, 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 the beginning of rectifying our, our, our Israeli internal domestic problems. Leah Golden, the mother of the late IDF soldier Hadar Golden, it's always very difficult to be speaking on a subject like this, but especially so on the ninth year anniversary of his death and his kidnapping. May your efforts never go in vain, and we're happy to provide another platform that you could possibly reach out in getting that assistance to bring your boy home. Thank you so much. Thank you.